द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ लॉन्ग प्लेइंग रिकॉर्ड रिवॉल्व विद अ स्पीड हंड्रेड बाई थ्री आर पी एम दैट आई वुड कॉल इट एज एन एंड टू कन्वर्ट दैट इन टू आर पी एस आई डिवाइड दिस बाई सिक्सटी विच मेक्स इट हंड्रेड बाई वन एटी आर पी एस रिड्यूसिंग इट डाउन वी गेट इट एज फाइव बाई नाइन आर पी एस It has a radius of fifteen centimeter. Two coins are placed at four centimeter and fourteen centimeter respectively from the center of the record. So I can assume R one is four centimeter for coin number one, and R two is fourteen centimeter from the coin number two, and the radius of the disc or the record is fifteen centimeter. In case if we need to use it, if coefficient of friction between the coins and the record is Point one five. Which of the two coins will revolve with the record? So they have given mu as zero point one five, and they have asked us which of the following two coins will revolve with the record. That means, if I assume this to be the record, the first coin is at a distance of four centimeter, so it is going to experience a centrifugal force. Along with that. there is a friction force which tries to balance it so first we need to find out what is the maximum friction force possible in the case of coins so i can say f max is going to be mu n now since the coin is placed on a horizontal plane surface i can say the normal reaction is the balanced by the weight so i'll substitute n as mg mu they have given as 0.15 mass we can assume it to be not given over here and g s 10 so i'll just get the value as 1.5 m is the maximum friction force a coin can experience due to its weight now what we need to understand over here is they have given us the omega in terms of n which is going to be balanced by the friction force so if we try to balance that we must find the value of the maximum radius r till which this friction force 1.5 m can balance the centrifugal force so if i assume the maximum radius up to which centrifugal force will be balanced by the friction force we can calculate it as f max equal to cff now f max definitely we got it as 1.5 m and centrifugal force we know it is m omega square r Now this m gets cancelled, so 1.5 is equal to omega can be written as 4 pi square n square r. So therefore r is 1.5 upon 4 into pi square into n. If you remember, is 5 by 9. So that is 25 by 81 because we did the square. Now I took 81 on the upper side. I'll get 1.5 into 81 upon Pi square, if we take it as ten, and twenty-five into four is hundred. That makes this as one thousand. So, if we multiply eighty-one into one point five, we get the value as one thousand four twenty-one point five by thousand. Definitely, that gives me zero point one two one five meter, which is also twelve point one five centimeter. Now that means the maximum radius up to which the coin will revolve with the disc or with the record is twelve point one five centimeter. Now we know R one was four centimeter. Which is less than twelve point one five, and R two 
is 14 centimeter which is greater than 12.15 which means the coin 1 will revolve with the record but coin 2 the coin will fly off or will skid off from the record because the centrifugal force will overcome the friction force so i can say the answer is coin placed at 4 cm will revolve with the record.